Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great. This is Kenneth Russell Tech, and today we're going to be looking at the ATEM Mini here and seeing exactly how we can use this guy to stream to two different streaming locations. So we can stream to, in this example I'm going to use, is Facebook and YouTube at the same time using a online service called Caster, which I've researched all the different ones, and this was the one I landed on a few months ago, probably seven or eight months ago, and I love it. In our software control here, we have up here the um, output right here. And normally on here, there's gonna be three options, Facebook, uh, you Twitch and YouTube that are already built into it. And so basically what we have to do is tell it to send uh, the stream to somewhere else. Now I already have a couple of videos on how to stream directly to Facebook and another video on how to stream directly to YouTube. So reference those if I'm flying past through the, the YouTube and Facebook back end uh, too fast, uh, but I already have that information. So I'm gonna really just show you how to use this with Caster here. So the first thing is, is with uh, with Caster, you have to be able to, uh, to tell the ATEM software control where to send it to. So uh, how do we do that? So there is a, uh, a file that is gonna be built into, um, let me pull it up here, uh, file built into the computer. So let me just go to it. Um, right here, if we're you go to your like your C drive if you're on Windows, and uh, there's a way to do this on Mac as well, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure how to do it on Mac as, as well. But you basically just need to find the folder that, that the ATEM software controls is in. So on Windows, it's going to be program files uh, x86. Then we're going to go to Blackmagic. We're going to go to ATEM, uh, Blackmagic ATEM switchers. And then we're going to go to ATEM software control. Now there's a bunch of files in here, down here. And what we're going to do is we are going to open up this one right here called Streaming XML. So Streaming XML is the one that you want. And uh, and you're going to need a software for this. And the software that I'm using, uh, I got for free somewhere on the interwebs. And it's called Notepad++, a free GNU source code editor. So you need a source code editor. I think you can actually do this in Notepad, but uh, the a source code editor is going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to open this up in Notepad right here. And uh, let's see, it popped up in another window. Let me pull it up here. So here's our our source code right here. And it just looks like a bunch of mumbo jumbo to uh, people like me that don't understand how coding all works. Uh, but this is what is already built in to say that you can stream to YouTube and Twitch and Facebook. So what we're going to do is we are going to send this to a new place. So and that new place that it is going to be, I'm going to come back to this in a minute, is Caster. And this is Caster right here. And what Caster does is it allows you to, uh, to stream to not just uh, one location, but you actually stream to caster.io. And then Caster will then stream it to all the different places that you have. So, uh, which is actually good for a few different reasons. Number one, you're streaming just to one place. And so you're only taking up the bandwidth to stream to one place. So even if you could stream to YouTube and Facebook at the same time, uh, using the ATEM Mini, it's not really going to work the way you not necessarily going to work the way you want because you're going to be taking up double the bandwidth. Uh, with Caster, you can actually send this to multiple places. So you can send it to, um, you know, like uh, I think up to 10 different streams. In fact, I could even send this to uh, multiple Facebook pages at the same time. Or if, I, if, I, if I'm running multiple pages, I could do that or even multiple YouTube channels. Um, and so it, it's very, very versatile. Uh, let me just show you really quick. I'm not being paid for this or anything. I actually reached out to Caster to see if I could get a sponsorship deal or, or discount for anybody that's getting it. And uh, I didn't hear back from them. So Caster, if you're watching, I'm still open for that. Anyway, uh, here it is right here. Um, if I click on add platforms down here, uh, you'll see all the different platforms you can possibly go to. And it basically, it's got all the big boys and then a bunch that I've never even heard of. So you got a lot of options down here. Um, what it does is it's gonna give you your own stream key that you're gonna plug into the ATEM. So that's what this is right here. So I'm gonna go uh, real quick. I'm gonna just go ahead and copy this right here because this is gonna be the RTMP that I need. So I'm gonna just copy that really quick. Uh, actually, I may need to come back here and, and copy it again. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to find the, there we go. So this guy right here is again, this uh, 
the the uh, the back end of the ATEM software control. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save this really quick. I'm going to just save as I'm not, you, you would do this and I would just save it as like streaming old or something like that or streaming original just in case you ever messed up anything in this. You have a backup copy um, and the uh, the new one that we're going to save is back to streaming. So uh, the way that the ATEM works in within the the software control is it's looking for that streaming.xml file. It's not going to read any other file other than the streaming.xml file. So you can even see here, I've, I've got a few of these saved. I've got the streaming.xml that it's normally reading, but then I've got one that I labeled as caster just as a backup for that. And I've also got old and original and pre-update. So I, I've just, I probably don't need all those, but I have used all those uh, save them just in case I ever, I don't know, mess something up. Anyway, uh, back to this. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this Facebook page. So what it is, is it's got streaming. And then you can see from this right here, service all the way down to service again. That is indicating that it is like Facebook or uh, YouTube or whatever. That's all the code associated with Facebook. So I'm going to copy that. And uh, so you would just control C or uh, whatever it is on Mac, you just or right click and copy it. And then, um, so let me do that real quick. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to come down below here and I'm going to create, I'm going to space this again. I'm going to make it look exactly the same. I'm going to paste it. And so I've now I've got a new Facebook. So I've got Facebook and then I've got another, the, the end of Facebook, that service. And then I've got the new service all the way to the end here. And I actually already have caster in this one, but I'll, I'll, I'll put this in again, just, just so it's easy uh, for you to see. All we're going to do is change two things here. We're going to change where it says Facebook right here. And I'm going to just delete this. And I'm going to label this as caster. Uh, did it work? There you go. Um, and then that's going to be on the ATEM software control, what I see. And then this right here, this URL, uh, this RTMP, that's what it's looking for. So back over here, this right here, this RTMP, I'm going to copy that and go over back to the XML file. And I'm going to come right in between here, this RTMP, and I'm going to paste it in there. So control V or however you want to paste it. And this is going to send this to, uh, that's going to tell Blackmagic what it is uh, that that it's going to tell the ATEM software control to go to caster. Okay. So then you're just going to save this as um, that you're streaming and you just save it in that same folder. Make sure you're in that same folder. So right now um, I'm, I'm not actually going to save this because I already have it saved, but you're going to, you're going to save this as streaming. And, uh, and then, then when you open up ATEM software control again, so I'm going to go back into the ATEM when I open it up, then you will see that caster is right there. Okay. So that uh, is how you get this to, to tell it to, to go to caster and, and add it as one of the platforms available. But then you need to have this key right here. And I'm going to delete this key uh, later on and I'm going to refresh it so that, that there's no way that you, you can stream <laughs> on my caster account. Uh, but uh, yeah, in theory, if I had, uh, if you got access to this, you would be able to stream to my caster account, but I don't want that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the caster here and I'm going to copy this stream key. And then I will, when I go back over here to this, I would paste that in here. And that's the stream key. So up by here, the caster part, that's just saying, go to the website caster. And then this key is saying, open up this account and, and start streaming to it. So um, like even right now, as I, if I hit this on air right now, uh, and I go over to the website of Caster, you can see right now that just popped up. And so we are, we are live right now. There's my uh, face right there. It actually goes pretty quickly here. Let me come back out of that. Um, and so that is how you stream to that. And I can come down here if I wanted to, and I can, oops, sorry, turn it off here on the, on this as well. So, um, and then that will turn off the stream. So you see, I am off right here. And so now we have to tell Caster where uh, we're getting a stream here, but then we're also want to tell Caster where to stream it to. 
So that's where we're going to add a platform. And I actually have a couple of these already added to uh, other accounts, um, but I'm going to add one uh, here to YouTube and to Facebook, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to add platform, and that's going to bring up this thing on the, the side here where I say, what do I want to add to? So whatever streaming service you want to add to. So I'm going to go to Facebook first. And then I'm going to actually come down here where it says set up with uh, server key. I think you can do this with connect with Facebook, but I have multiple pages uh, that I run and I don't want to, um, to mess anything up. So I'm going to just use the uh, stream key here. So I'll use the, the server stream key now or the streaming server. When I go to my Facebook page and I hit live, that's going to take me to uh, this page. Got all this information here. On the right side here is my stream keys uh, for Facebook. So if I go to the server URL, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over to Caster, and I'm going to put that in the server. This is saying that it is that's where you're sending the stream to, and then the copying the key, and this is going to tell it to use this key to unlock my uh, my service here. So I'm going to hit create platform, and then down here I've got another Facebook here. So we'll do the same thing for YouTube. I'm going to go to YouTube, and I'm going to set up with the server key and then I'm going to do the, you know, that same thing, the streamer server and the streaming key. Uh, the easiest way to do this, if you go to create, uh, go live, um, you can see this down here, uh, this your stream keys and stuff. If you are sending this already to Caster and Caster is sending it out to YouTube, it'll just start streaming right off the bat. So I make sure all this is set up before I hit go live. Anyway, go down here and I'm going to copy this, uh, the, uh, the RTMP, go over to caster. I'm going to paste the RTMP. I'm going to go over to, to this, uh, stream key here. I'm going to copy the stream key and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to paste it into caster again, create platform. And there we go. I have these two right here. Now what I can do now is I'm going to toggle these guys on and that's going to, so you can put a bunch of different platforms in here and um you'd be able to uh you'd be able to say hey uh only stream to these platforms right now so i'm gonna i toggled those two on sorry i'm covering up uh that youtube one just a little bit my apologies uh anyway uh toggle those guys on and then now when i go back to uh i'm gonna actually make sure that this is set as okay it's set as unlisted and when i go to caster caster still looking for uh the atm software control to, to, to say go live to. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit on air. And then that's going to send to caster over here. And it should be just a second. Um, it's about a 10 second delay, it seems like. Um, but it just kind of all depends. Uh, sometimes that first connection is a little bit harder. So you see there I am right there. I'm going to take my, my face off as well. So that's, we're streaming right now. And we are going to then... Uh, right now, because I have these guys toggled to on, I am sending them both to Facebook and to YouTube. So if I go over to, uh, go over to Facebook right here, there it is. This is the stream that Caster is sending out right now. And so that's pretty awesome that it, that it is right there. And so all I'd have to do is come down here and hit go live. And then I will be live on Facebook. And then same thing with YouTube. Uh, right now, let's see. Um... Duplicated stream key select. Okay, hold on. There it goes. Um, something happened when I was creating multiple uh, streams here a minute ago. Uh, it says right here, excellent con connection. And sometimes with YouTube, it takes a little bit to actually connect. Um, it is connected right now, or it is connecting right now. Um, it's gonna. It should be starting here in just a second. There we go. And so as soon as it saw that, it knows that it is live and I can just go up here and hit go live. Um, if at any time during this, you, for some reason, this preview is not working, you can actually just refresh the screen. It's not going to stop the, um, it's not going to stop the stream. And on Facebook, Facebook, you can refresh this uh, page and it's not going to stop the stream either. Um, so uh, pretty cool. So that is all the, the, that is happening right there. So we're sending it out um, and we're, we are sending it to both of these these places here so um pretty awesome that it is it is works that way hopefully that was helpful to you um i know a lot of people uh, especially in like kind of the church world want to stream to multiple different places um we do on every week uh twice a week we're streaming to facebook and youtube at the same time so i've done this process a number of times and caster has been a great service i haven't had any problems with it 
Um, it's only like, I think it's $14.99 or somewhere around there. Uh, it might have gone up since I, I got it, but something like that a month to be able to use the the, uh, the number of platforms that I'm sending it to, which we're just doing two. But like I said, we could do up to 10 platforms here. So uh, I know that this uh, is can seem complicated, but no worries with it. Feel free to go back and, and see this video again if it's helpful to you. So if this video is helpful to you, do me a favor, please subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video. That help actually helps a lot in this whole process of uh, building a YouTube channel. And I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you have any other questions for the uh, A10 Mini or uh, production issues that you might be having, please uh, leave a comment or you can Facebook me at my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Kenneth Russell. And, uh, and I'll try to answer one of the questions and help you out. So Kenneth Russell out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.